Hey guys, welcome to November, and the freebie sticker for my Etsy this month is Catra and Milog from She-Ra and the Princesses of the Power. <laughs> I have a feeling that I'm gonna have to print and cut a lot of these stickers. Hey guys, it's November 9th and Cartoon Network just announced the new episode for Adventure Time Distant Lands Obsidian with the bubbling. I'm so freaking excited. I've been waiting for this forever. Because of that, I realized I only had three of my bubbling charms left, and this is how they look. This is the front and this is the back. I decided I was gonna redo their outfits for the Obsidian trailer. So this is the new version, so front and back. I decided to make them look more like the style of Adventure Time because these charms don't sell very well because they're in my normal like style with the noses and I don't know and plus I realized that having like the backs of the characters doesn't help either like people prefer if it's a different outfit or facial expression so I'm going with this and hopefully it's more popular than this one. Today is November 11th and I'm printing and cutting my um, Halloween stickers that are my OCs for my patrons for October. Alright, let's see how cleanly this comes off. Ugh. I can't do this with one hand, oh my goodness. Ugh. Ugh, most of them came off, or stayed. <laughs> so here they are, so cute. So these are just uh, stickers of my OCs dressed as She-Ra characters for Halloween. Um, they're exclusive stickers for my patrons for the tier that gets stickers every month. So thank you so much for your support if you're one of those people that will be getting one of these stickers. Or all the set, I mean. <laughs> it's November 14th and I finally got my washi tape in, my reprints of my washi from the company Alchemy. Um, this is actually a new place that I'm using so I haven't opened these to check them out. The rolls seem way bigger than, like, the the core. <laughs> Seems really big compared to my last ones. I was actually really worried that these were just going to be, like, freely, like, this, where there's, like, nothing protecting it. But it has, like, a little plastic thing over it. So I'm pretty glad about that. It's like the same size, like, but the core is bigger, so now I'm like kind of worried that it's not the same amount of tape. Huh. This one I've used, so I'd have to like open one of my old ones. I don't know, like comparing the two, it does look like there's less tape on it, but I don't know if it's just like more tightly spooled on there maybe. Because like when I look at this one, I can kind of see like gaps in between the tape like it's not as tightly like spooled but like this one it's like pretty tight it's also like a different color like I use the same file but it's like it looks less orangey more brown which is actually more how I wanted it to be more brown I have the Shira one too for the ultimate test I'll have to see how sticky it is there's a definite difference in like color. So the top one is the original one and the bottom one is the new one, but the, I think the bottom one actually matches what it's supposed to be, like the side, the files. Actually, I don't know. I feel like my files like in between these two. This new one doesn't feel as sticky as the top one, but like, I don't know, it's not like coming off either. I have to do new photos for it anyway because I have added Kai to it for this one and I will actually. So I apologize in advance if you can hear like a whirring noise or something. I have a mini fridge right there and it's like running. I don't know how much the camera is going to pick up on that noise. Anyways, today is November 16th but I got the PlayStation 5 in the mail a few days ago. Um, I haven't been able to open it. I'm been pretty busy but actually I feel pretty lucky to have gotten one of these I pre-ordered it um, like in September I actually managed to get two pre-orders um, and I kept both of them for a little while like expecting one of them to get like canceled by the retailer then neither of them got canceled so I actually canceled one myself so I wouldn't buy more than I needed so yeah Hopefully someone else out there got that other PlayStation that I had reserved. Oh 
boy. Okay. Just like little instructions here on how to pull it out without breaking it, so. Goodness. This thing is huge. This is a very beefy console. What the heck? This like console is supposed to be white, but it's like an off white. It's like this is white. This is like gray. Holy crap, the inside of the fin thing has like the little PlayStation symbols on it. Like I knew it was on the controller, but I didn't know it was like on the inside of the console. When I bought this media center like a couple months ago, I got it specifically because I had these little side parts and I left this one like empty for my PlayStation to fit into, so hopefully it fits in there. Wow, look at that! It fits in there perfectly! So I left the shelf that's supposed to go like horizontally right here like under it so that I can just like slide it forward. I mean, I know that's not how it's supposed to be used, but it makes it easier for me to, like, get behind the console to, like, if I need to plug something in or do something. I don't know. Wow. So I have a PlayStation 3, and a PlayStation 4, and a PlayStation 5. If this media center was bigger, I would also have my PS1 and 2, because that would also be cool. But I do have a Switch over there. Now, time for the moment of truth. That is not the right button. Ooh. It lives. I'm gonna plug that in. Oh snap. I mean this. It's November 21st and I just got a restock order for some of my charms. So I got Zuko, Parvati, Shira, Cassandra, and Katra. Unfortunately, yesterday I got a takedown notice for this from Ubisoft so I can't sell these on my Etsy anymore. But, you know, it's their right to do that to take it down so... I'm always afraid of that type of thing happening. Um, it has, doesn't happen very often, but I was kind of surprised by this one, honestly. But yeah. That's why next year I really want to focus on like original stuff. Um, I want to get my webcomic going and selling merch for my comic, hopefully. It's November 27th and I got these in the mail a few days ago. Um, a lot of people order my Avatar and Korra buttons, so I decided to get like backing cards made specifically for them. So they'll look even cooler. Then I got some charm reprints of some Life is Strange and Avatar and core characters. And then my new charm, Bubbling, for the new Obsidian, which I still haven't watched yet. So I made the Bubbling design based on the trailer from Obsidian. And I made it look more uh, like an Adventure Time style. And there's, they turned out so cute. Thank you so much for watching this November vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I just wanted to give a big shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. These vlogs are a reward for their support. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it.